In the following videos, I'd like to introduce you to an H2 in-memory database, which is very easy to set up and it's very easy to use. You can use this in-memory database during the time you're developing a new feature or during the time you test your project. And the good thing is that with an in-memory database, it is absolutely safe to play and experiment with your data and your code. You can insert data into your in-memory database and delete it from your database as many times as you like. And it's not going to affect your team members and it's not going to affect data that you have in your standalone MySQL server. All the test data that you insert into your in-memory database stays in memory and is cleared out once you stop your application and the next time you start your app, the data in your database tables is cleared and you start fresh. So the H2 database is a Java SQL database, which is very lightweight and it's very quick to integrate into your Spring Boot projects. It can be used as embedded in memory database or it can even be used in a server mode. And in the following videos, we're going to use H2 database as in-memory database. And this means that all the data we insert in our database tables will be kept in memory until we shut down our application or until we restart it. And after we restart our application, the H2 database will be completely empty and all the modifications that we have done to it will be completely gone. And this makes H2 database ideal to use when developing a new feature or when testing our API by sending all kinds of different HTTP requests uh, containing test data. So using in-memory database in our project will also help us uh, not to pollute our standalone MySQL database with uh, test data. And it's very easy to set it up right in your Spring Boot project. There is minimum configuration that you need to do to get started and you can even connect to your database and use it with the default database name and the default user which is already pre-configured for us for example on the image on my screen i'm going to use the default username as a and there is no password i need to provide to connect to my in-memory database so it's very quick to get started with h2 and if you need to there is a way to configure a custom username and a custom password as well the H2 database comes with a very easy to use graphical user interface, which allows us to browse database tables, uh, browse their structure and the records that we have saved in those database tables. And we can use this very easy and convenient to use graphical user interface. We can write custom SQL queries there to select data from tables and to preview it or to update data in your database table manually. And we can use this H2 database console even to connect to other databases. Like for example, we can connect to a standalone MySQL database server and then use this H2 database console to browse our real data, which is not in memory, which is in MySQL database and browse MySQL database um, tables, structures and records that we have. And I'm going to show you how to run this SQL queries manually. 